Okay, good evening. Hello, people, how are you? Good evening. Welcome one more time. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How was your weekend? <clears throat> okay. Okay, we are going to start tonight. Welcome one more time to our English Corporativo class, beginner three. Now we are going to start unit two. Okay. Let me share the screen. Uh, to show you the book. Where is the book? Okay, we're going to start with the book. Tonight we are going to start Unit 2. In unit two, we, we are going to discuss about socializing. Socializing is the, is the title for unit two. And along with this topic, we are going to learn some structures of English, okay? In this first lesson, our objective is to exchange information. You will be able to exchange information about the company's expertise, the industrial classification, and where it operates. So this is what we are going to be talking about tonight. <clears throat> We have some questions here to warm up. Let me read them and then we are going to talk about them. The first question says, do you often attend seminars? Is it easy for you to socialize at those events? How do you usually break the ice? How do you usually break the ice that is make people feel more friendly to talk to each other hmm what do you think about that let me ask you here the first question it says do you often attend seminars does your work your company uh, send you often to seminars? Yes or no? No, never. Who said no? Who said never? Yes. 
Okay. Well, we are going to talk about that later. And uh, when you do, you like to go to those activities, to seminars, or sometimes if you are not uh, too friendly, if you are like uh, like an introvert. Maybe we don't, you don't like to go to those activities. You don't like to attend. I am a kind of introvert, actually. So, and with this, in this kind of activities, well, I don't feel very comfortable. Especially if I'm not attending with another co-worker, with a friend. No, it's kind of hard for me. Because it is not easy for me to break the ice. So to make friends easily, mm, that's not me. Uh, to start a conversation easily, oh, it's not for me. For me, it's a little bit difficult. No. So, but what about you? I want you to discuss about that. So first, let me ask you, uh, do you understand the questions? Okay, are the questions clear for you? Do you often attend seminars? Is it easy for you to socialize at those events? And how do you usually break the ice? Yeah, break the ice is make people feel more friendly to talk to each other. So, uh, <clears throat> please, I would like you, uh, I want to ask you to Um, take a screenshot, no, here. Okay, please take a screenshot of these questions. And then I'm going to send you to small groups to discuss these questions, okay? Five minutes just to talk about a little bit to start. Please take the screenshot and I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. Um, uh, just two groups. We are not too many right now. Okay, please go to the small groups and discuss those, those questions for five minutes. Please join your group, Carlos.
Hello, her son. I'm going to send you to one group. Please join the group, her son, to practice, to start, to interact with the questions they have. And you too, Carlos, you already have the invitation. Join your group, please. Oh, okay, when you try, please, when you can, go to your group. Andres, are you there? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Andres. I'm going to send you to a group. Okay. Please, because they are discussing some questions right now. A couple of minutes. Okay. Nice. Hello, hello, Milagro. Welcome. Hi, thank you, teacher. And you? Very good, very good. Ready for a new week. Qué bien. Provecho, Madeline. Gracias, Milagro. <laughs> Estamos cenando una clase. Está bien. Hola Liliana. Hola Gerson. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás, Milero? Fine, thank you. And you? Fine. I enter late, but the traffic. Oh. There is some. Very hard. Okay, welcome back.
Okay. So, who goes to seminars very often? Maybe this year nobody has gone to any seminar, no? This year, but previous years? Me, but maybe one per year. One per year. Maybe. Uh, not too much. Uh, no. Ah, okay. Good. Um, is it easy for you to socialize with others when you go to that kind of activities, Melissa? Yes, I think I... I'm always talking with people and, and I think it's easier for me that maybe sometimes I start to say hi or asking where they work and if mm -hmm. it's something of, of the same company but with people that I never talk, okay. I start asking what our area is, are they working or what are they doing or, or something like that. Okay, very good, very good. Who else? When, when was the last seminar you, you go? Uh, can anybody respond that question? When was the last seminar you you went to? Uh -huh. They do not send me seminars. You don't go to seminars often? Okay. Okay. Teacher. Uh huh. In my company, they often send to seminar and training. Ah, okay. Is is uh, how do you say regularmente? Ah, uh, regularly. Regular. Uh -huh. Regularly. Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. Very good. And how do you feel when you go to those activities? Do you like I, it? Do you like to interact with different people? Yes, I like uh, it's noise difficult to break the ice. Okay, <laughs> make friends. Yes. Okay. I like it. Okay, very good, very good. Well, let's continue then. We have a conversation here to practice. Uh, it's, it's something about two people talking about, well, the, well, you're going to tell me later some, some things about the conversation. It says here at a seminar. So this conversation takes place at a seminar. Um, is between Rick and Jack. So let me enlarge this a little bit more. Okay. So listen, please. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for NX Inc. What does NX Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does NX have many branches? Um, In the country? Does NX have many, many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. Okay. Now, listen and repeat, please. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. My name, My is, name Rick. is Rick. Nice My to name meet is you. Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Jack. I work for NX Inc. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Jack. Yeah, I'm I work Jack. for, for NX Inc. For NX Inc. What does NX Inc. do, Jack? 
What does does Jack do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. We Oh, I see. Does Enex have many branches? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Does Enex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. Yes, 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 it is we, we have, we have manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? And where, and where are, are, are the headquarters? headquarters? headquarters. They're in Panama. They're in, in Panama. Panama. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Now, I am Rick and you are Jack, okay? Ready? Okay. Good. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to, to meet you too. too. I am Jack. I work for Inex Inc. In. 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 What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? 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 What does Inex Inc. do, Yes, in the country. And where are the headquarters? They they are they're in Panama. They're in Panama. They're in Panama. Okay. They're now you are Rick and I am Jack. So you begin. One, two, three. My, My name, name is Rick. Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice, nice to meet you. Too. Meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for Enex Inc. What, what does Enex Inc. do, Jack? Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I oh, see. Boxes boxes Inex Inex yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. They're in Panama. Okay, very good. Any question with the conversation? No, okay. I like I like to uh huh. Tell me. Teacher branch branch branches. Ah, okay. We're going to see that. Give me a second. Okay, ha, the pronunciation of this packaging. Packaging, packaging companies. Packaging. Packaging companies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Packaging. Yes. This branches. 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 We have two definitions here. One is for headquarter and the other is for branch. What are the headquarters? Well, is the place where a company or organization has its main offices. Okay. The, those are the headquarters of a company where the company has the main offices okay and a branch what is a branch is a shop or office representing a large company or organization in a particular area all right so they are they have many companies have different branches in different cities all right but the headquarters for example here in el salvador usually the headquarters are in san salvador most of the companies have their headquarters in san salvador 
banks, for example. Okay. Teacher, es como la casa matriz o... Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And branches, they have in different cities. Exactly, okay. So that is a branch and headquarters. Okay. Good. Now, look, what are you going to do? Please uh, take a screenshot of the conversation, please. And also, well, give me a second. I, I want to show you more. And this activity, okay? You are going to work in the conversation and in activity three. What are you going to do? Well, I want you to write two more questions you can ask. Imagine you are Rick. Yeah, Rick is asking questions to Jack. So imagine that you are Rick and you want to continue the conversation. What other questions would you ask Rick to continue the conversation? Two more questions, okay, that you would ask Rick to continue with the conversation. Okay? That's what I want you to do. Number one, I want you to practice the conversation. This conversation in pairs. And number two, you have to continue the conversation with two more questions and, por supuesto, the answers. Okay? The answers to continue with the conversation. So please do that in your groups. Did you get the screenshot of the conversation or you have the yes. book already, okay? Yes. Okay, now let me send you to your groups. Now I'm going to send you in pairs. So please make sure you go to your group because I don't want anybody to be alone. No quiero que nadie se quede solo, entonces entren a los grupos, por favor. Espero nadie tenga problemas de internet para poder entrar. Ahí está. La mayoría de todos de dos, solo hay uno que queda de tres. Entonces, practice the conversation and continue the conversation with two more questions and answers. Go ahead, join your groups, please. Go to your groups, they are waiting for you. Fatima and Milagro, the two of you are together. Go to your groups, please. Milagro, Fatima is waiting for you.
like it. it. Uh -huh. I like it because the people is friendly. The people amistosa, is... digamos. Espérame. Ajá, así, friendly. Se lo escribo aquí. F R I E N D L. Vaya, en la segunda sí no, no he pensado. Podemos preguntar. Hi, Carlos. Hi, teacher. Did you solve the problem with your computer? Yes, my, my computer is update the system. Ah, okay. Uh, uh -huh. in, in that moment, I connect with my phone. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to send you to a group, okay? Okay, okay. Let me see, where can you? Okay, here. Okay, there you have the invitation. Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia la, la, la palabra? ¿Cómo es la correcta pronunciación de la palabra? Dice Rick en el último en el último párrafo de Rick. Headquarter. Yeah, headquarter. Okay, headquarter. The headquarter. Y la palabra manufacture. Manufacture. Manu, manufacture. Manufacture. Uh -huh. Y la otra, la que le sigue, cardboard. 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 Cardboard es cartón, ¿verdad? Yes. Cardboard. Caja de cartón. Yes. Y packagings pa es embalado o... Package. Package o... Pa pack packaging. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. ok. Packaging company. Bueno. Siga. Eh, la, la actividad es solamente... Eh, la, la conversation. Eso es todo. No. ¿Qué más vamos a hacer? You have to practice the conversation and add, include two more questions to continue with the conversation. Yeah, Rick is asking questions. So what other questions you would like to ask to Jack, okay? To continue the conversation. Practice and practice. Respond the questions. Las dos preguntas del 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 number three. Yes, but you are going to to. Ustedes van a hacer esas dos preguntas. ¿Cómo seguiría la conversación? Tienen que inventarse dos preguntas para continuar con la conversación. Ok. ¿Quién me, quién me indica qué página es que yo...? Es la número 19, Charlie. Ok, ahorita. Están un poquito perdidos. Pero no tanto. Ya te encontraste. Yo <risa> también. Oh, Central America. 
Any question, people here? No, teacher. No, está claro lo que van a hacer, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, very good. There the, is a rare lady the conversation in Frank and Jack. Rick and Jack. Ajá, uh -huh, mm -hmm. but también le tienen que agregar. Sí. Sí, pues sí. O sea, vamos a conseguir seguir sí, haciendo oraciones. Ok. Very good. See you. Thank you. Right. See you. To work or to remember. Eso podríamos poner, ¿verdad? Imagino que eso le queda preguntar después el teacher. El teacher ahí está. Hoy bien, no se fue, ni cuenta me di. Here I am. Hello, teacher. Hello, any question with the activity? Yes. Uh -huh. Tell me. Number uh, one, uh, Andrew's own of your company. Sorry, repeat. Uh, what is the address of, of your company? Ah, okay. Uh -huh. And number one, number two. What is the distance from your home to work? Ah, okay. So you have to make up an answer too. También tienen que inventarse una respuesta a eso. Ah, okay. Okay, and practice the conversation, así extendida. Okay. Practiquen. Okay. 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 See you. Okay. 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 Esas son las dos preguntas que le hicimos más, vea tres preguntas. Eh, bueno, ahorita. ¿Quién quiere comiencen ustedes? Ya que después me incorporo yo. Vaya. Está bien. Yo soy Rick, si quiere. Bueno. Okay. Ya. Rick. Nice to meet you. I, I am Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for the... Oh, I does Inex yeah, we have the What do you do in index? I I supervise. Hi. How many years do you have to work in a company? I have eight years old. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay. Okay. And quién lo hace conmigo? Si quieren hoy ustedes dos. Bye. Okay. Yo okay. soy Rick. Yo soy Jack. Okay. okay. My name is.
Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening, Karen. Welcome. Okay, people, welcome back. Okay. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Sí, teacher, yes. Okay. Yo de repente los vi congelados a todos. Okay, I'd like to hear some of your conversation with the extension. Some volunteers, please, to show your conversation. Volunteers, volunteers. Hola, hola. Teacher, me. Okay. Who is your partner? ¿Con quién trabajaste? With Jacqueline y Herson. Okay. Please show me your conversation. Okay. Con, con Gerson o con mío? Con Jack. Con Jacqueline. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher, all, all conversation, only two questions. No, uh, all. Uh, oh. Complete, okay. complete, yes. Okay. I have. Okay, <laughs> I am Jacqueline. <laughs> okay. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Jack works for Next Inc. <laughs> what does Ines Inc. do, Jacqueline? We manufacture cardboard box packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have many branches? Yes, it does. We have remanufacturing branch in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. What do you do in index? I am industrial engineer. I supervise all in the country. And how many years do you have to work in the company, Jacqueline? Uh, I have a in okay, nice to meet you, Jacqueline. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hey, very good, very good, excellent. Applause to you. Okay, okay. one more, please. I'd like to hear your conversation and the extension. Who's next? Who's next, please? Vamos, mamá. <laughs> Come on, I can't hear you. Hello, people, are you there? Hola, hola. Hola, hola, no les escucho. ¿Me escuchan? 
Un poquito sí, cortado, pero sí, sí. Sí, está. Claro, no, pero me, sí. Me está fallando un poco aquí el sí. Inter. Una tormenta. Sí. <risa> A ver, quería escuchar algo otro, otro más, una pareja más. I think that song is the one, is the one that is failing, porque ya varios no Yes. Are you having problem with Ajá, Zoom? Que se no... Yes, is por momento se, se, se congela la imagen. ¿Verdad que sí? Ajá, entonces yo, yo también por internet, teléfono, creo que es Zoom. Sí, porque nosotros nos sacó de la unión que teníamos con Gerson y Jacqueline. Sí. Oh. Sí, porque ahorita los tengo congelados, solo algunos veo que se Quizá mueven. Quizás por, por lo de la todos tormenta están, puede todos ser. Todos están haciendo los congelados. <risa> Quedemos los quietos, sí, no lo veo, ¿verdad? Usted, <risa> no. Mucho meme, mucho meme ustedes han visto. ¿eh? Ya que sí, se queda no, así, no, con el ojo temblando. Dice <risa> no suspender las clases usted. No. no, no quieren, no quieren, no se puede. Bueno, está, está complicado ahorita escucharles. ¿Quién me escribió por aquí? Hi. Ok, bueno, vamos a seguir mejor entonces, dándoles otra actividad por acá. Vamos a ver si no nos saca el zoom, no, no nos saca zumbados, zoom. Ok, uh, the next activity here says, list three companies with branches in your country and the location of its headquarters. Okay, we're gonna do it individually right now. Three companies with branches in El Salvador and the location of the headquarters. Um, I don't know. I, I could add, I talk about Banco Agricola. Banco Agricola has many branches, okay? And the headquarters are in Colombia. As far as I know, eso es lo que yo sé. No, that Banco Agricola is in Colombia and here in El Salvador, it has many branches. Here in Lourdes, they have two branches actually in Lourdes and the headquarters in Colombia. Please, I want you to write two or three more companies, three companies and with branches in El Salvador and the location of the headquarters. I will give you two minutes to do that. Okay. Este, me voy a prepararme una nueva computadora. Puede ser hipoteco o, o tiene que ser real. Uh, preferible. Real. Okay. Preferable real.
Did you finish, people? What companies can you mention? Uh, yes, I finished. Okay, what companies can you, can uh, you name? Uh, Avianca. Oh. Avianca, uh, Avianca have some branches here in El Salvador. And her, uh, Avianca have the headquarters in Colombia. In Colombia too, okay. Good. What else? What other companies? Siman. Siman. And, and branches in Salvador and how go, how go other telephones? The headquarter here in El Salvador too, or, or, or different? One, one, one. Ah, okay. Branches in Salvador uh, in headquarters in Costa Rica, I think. Really? Oh. Yes, sí. Costa Rica and Panama también. Oh, <laughs> didn't Only. know. Okay, another one. Come on, Telefónica. People. Uh -huh. Telefónica y um, Squatter had Squatter in Madrid, uh -huh. Guatemala, El Salvador. Oh, the headquarter, but, but the headquarter is in Europe. Where, the, where the main offices are. Yeah. Okay. Teacher, uh, uh -huh. the, the, the co workers or the compañeros, the teammates, have a confusion with branches and headquarters. Branches are the. Let's go back to the book with the definition that we have in the book. Branches could be like sucursales. Uh huh. In, Headquarters could be like sede, casa matriz, or something like that. But I think exactly, it's just, exactly. you can only have one headquarters and yes. so many branches. And many branches, yes. Only one headquarter, actually. Okay. One more, please. Before the attendance, I need to take the attendance. Come on, don't be shy, people. Tell us. I Hi, teacher. write Sears. Uh huh. And also Banco Acquia with branches in El Salvador and headquarters in Honduras. In Honduras. Ah, okay. Alguien más iba a decir algo por ahí? Yes, me. Tell us, Andres. Tell us. The, the company sits Litzmar, uh -huh. the headquarters in Guatemala, mm -hmm. and brushes all Central America and Colombia. Ah, okay, okay. Very good, very good. Okay, I will call the attendance, so please um, say here, present. Wendy Patricia Molina. 
Present teacher. Fátima Ifigenia López. Uh, ok, Ada Azucena Cáceres. Ada. Ok, Gerson David Menjibar. Present. Good. Madeline Gabriela Alfaro. Present. Thank you. Verónica Yesenia Enríquez. Present. Thank you. Jennifer Elizabeth Hueso. Didn't show up today. Andrés Alberto Orellana. Present teacher. Ok, César Humberto López. Present. Thank you. Jacqueline Vanessa López. Present. Ok. Cindy Alexandra Ramos. Present. Carlos Antonio González. Present. Good. Marlon Ernesto Serrano. Not here. Francisca Delmira Guillén. Present. Good. Liliana Melissa Olivares. Good. Karen Stephanie Flores. Ok. And Maria Milagro Rosales. Yes. Ok, very good. Now, uh, look at this. Here we have some vocabulary about um, company, okay? Indu industries, types of industries. Let me share the, I need to share the screen, I'm sorry. Here on, on page 20, so you have the a list of different types of industry. And uh, the concept or the definition, okay, of, uh, of the type of industry, this uh, service or product is uh, co corresponds for example banks banks belong to the finance industry the finance industry then we have soft drinks guided tours cardboard boxes buildings mobile phones these are products or services medicine car components, hair salon services, and clothes. And here we have the industries, industry types. The beauty and personal care industry, the construction industry, the textile industry, the telecommunications industry, the finance industry, the automotive industry, the packaging industry, the beverage industry, the tourism industry, and the pharmaceutical industry. Okay? So you have to match the service or product with the type of industry. Again, bank corresponds to the finance industry. Please continue with the rest. And then we are going to compare your answers. All right.
Is the activity clear, people? Yes. Teacher. yes. Okay. Teacher, how is how is the pronunciation of beverage? Beverage. 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 Okay. Thank you. Okay.
Okay, did you finish? Yes, finish. Okay, so banks belongs to the finance industry. Uh, what about soft drinks? The beverage industry. Beverage industry. Okay, beverage industry. Good. Guided tours? The tourist industry. Okay. Cardboard boxes? Packaging. Parking. Okay. The packing. Uh, buildings. The construction, construction industry. Construction industry. Construction Mobile phones. Telecommunication industry. Okay. Medicine. The pharmacy industry. Industry. Okay. Car components. The the automobile, the automobile, 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 industry. Industry. Hair salon services. The beauty and personal and personal clothes. 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 The textile industry. The textile industry. Ah, okay, very good, very good. Well, let's practice. Uh, the pronunciation of this vocabulary, okay? okay. Repeat, please. Uh, banks. 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 The finance banks. industry. The finance, finance, finance industry. industry. Podemos, podemos ver. Para hacerlo tipo oración, vamos a decir, banks belong to, pertenecen a, o pudiéramos decir correspond, correspond. to, ¿verdad? cualquiera de esas dos formas podríamos usar, belongs to, or correspond to, ok, ok, nos vamos a decir, Ba Banks belong to the finance industry. Repeat. Banks belong to the finance industry. Definitely industry. The finance industry. Soft drinks belong to the beverage industry. Soft drinks belong to the beverage industry. Guided tours belongs to the tourism industry. Guided tours belong to the tourism industry. Tourism. 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 Cardboard boxes belong to the packaging industry. Car or box belong to the packaging industry. Buildings belong to the construction industry. Buildings belong to the construction industry. Mobile phones belong to the telecommunications industry. Mobile phones belong to the communication industry. Medicine belongs to the pharmaceutical industry. Medicine belongs to the pharmaceutical industry. Pharmaceutical industry. Car components belong to the automotive industry. Car components belong to the automobile industry. Automobile industry. Hair salon services belong to the beauty and personal care industry. 
Her salon service belongs to the beauty and personal car industry. Beauty for personal car industry. Clothes belong to the textile industry. Clothes belong to the textile industry. Okay, very good. Any question here? No. Perfect. No. Okay, so here we have uh, some businesses, the name of some businesses here. Refresh and Live, Fix and Care, Enjoy and Travel, Business Bank, The Sun Resort. And you have to write sentences describing the type of industry, okay, they belong to. For example, at Refresh and Live, we distribute soft drinks. We are in the beverage industry. Okay? Mm -hmm. So the idea is to create a sentence talking about this... Uh, Products or services, yeah. So these products and services, you have to use this and this in the sentences. Yeah. So the company uh, distributes this or hace esto, hace aquello, proporciona esto, proporciona aquello. Y pertenece a tal industria. Ok, tal como aparece acá. ¿Verdad? At Refresh and Live, we distribute soft drinks. We are in the beverage industry. Ok. Hagamos eso entonces con nosotros negocios. Fix and Care, these are... Some businesses, Enjoy and Travel, Business Bank, and the Sun Resort. Hola, teacher. Hola. ¿Qué es lo que hay que hacer? Ok, oraciones como la del ejemplo. Bueno, estos son negocios, son nombres de negocios inventados, ¿no? Esto, ¿verdad? Entonces, por ejemplo, Refresh and Live. ¿Qué es lo que hacen ellos? Bueno, me dicen acá. 
at Refresh and Live, nosotros distribuimos soft drinks. ¿De dónde tomamos esto de soft drinks? Pues de, de acá. En verdad, de esto. Están relacionados. Dice, at Refresh and Live, we distribute soft drinks. We are in the beverage industry. Básicamente. Fix and care. ¿Verdad? Usted puede pensar qué tipo de, de empresa es esa, a qué se dedica, de acuerdo al nombre. Y así formar una oración describiendo a la empresa. ¿Qué hacen y a qué tipo de industria, con qué tipo de industria están relacionados? Y así cada uno. ¿Ok? Gracias. Entonces para eso puede usar este vocabulario, como le digo, del cuadro que acabamos de hacer. Teacher. Hola. I have a problem with the screen. Uh, the, screen the screen turned off, but uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Um, I turn off the computer and I will enter again. Okay. Okay. Vaya, vaya, está bien. Teacher, what page is in the manual, this exercise? Uh, I think it's 20. 20, okay. yeah. gracias.
Teacher. Hello. Eh, no, no puedo identificar a qué se refiere la última empresa. The Sun Resort. Okay, a resort is like a, yeah, like a hotel. Sí. So a, a place where you go to rest at the beach or in a mountain. Yeah, that's oh, a resort. Okay. Okay. Thank you. No, Hello? Okay, did you finish? What mean, please? Okay. Okay, now um, I'm going to split you in small groups. Voy a dividir en grupos para dos cosas. Share your sentences. Comparten sus oraciones, lo que hicieron. ¿Verdad? Comparan. And second for this activity. Okay. Basically in pairs. You're going to work in pairs. The idea is to prepare a conversation about your companies. Similar to the conversation model that we looked at the beginning, okay? A similar conversation. In, the con in that conversation, you are going to talk about the expertise of your company. So what does your company do? the industrial classification of your company. So this is real information, okay? The company where you work at right now. So that is what you are going to talk about. The location, of the including the headquarters and branches of your company, okay? Including the Questions that you added, las que le agregaron, including those questions, okay? So the idea is that you are going to prepare that conversation and then you are going to present that conversation to the class. All right? So first, compare your sentences, okay? This exercise. Second, 
prepare a conversation similar to the model on page 19 and describing all the information about your companies, okay? Entonces, uh, incluso ahí no, porque en esta conversación que tenemos de modelo solo eh, responde Rick about his company, okay? En la conversación que ustedes hagan tienen que incluir la información de, tanto de la compañía de uno como la del otro. ¿Ok? ¿Está claro lo que van a hacer? Sí, yes. yes, teacher. Ok. Yes. Yes. Entonces, vamos a hacer los grupos. ¿Verdad? Uh, básicamente las parejas. Vamos a colocarles en parejas. Así es que espero que todos puedan entrar para que nadie quede solito y abandonado. Ok, ahí está la invitación. Únanse por favor y hagan todas esas cosas. Teacher Saúl. Hola. Ya que estamos solo usted y yo. Dígame. Eh, no pretendo decir que, que no está bien su clase, ¿verdad? Porque cada teacher tiene su manera y yo respeto eso. Pero me siento... Un poco triste porque siento de que en estas clases con usted no tenemos una participación como lo fue en los cursos anteriores, que era como más participativo. Todos, todos, todos participábamos leyendo eh, y ahora siento que las clases son bastante apagadas. O sea, le hablo con el corazón, sin el afán de, de hacerlo sentir mal, ¿verdad? Sino que, que quería expresarle eso. Porque aquí tengo yo un cuaderno que compré y en los primeros dos módulos yo copié en barbaridad. Tengo muchos apuntes que yo hacía y ahora... No tengo casi nada de la semana que llevamos. No tengo mayor cosa que he copiado. Entonces siento que un poquito triste por esto. Oh, bueno, vamos a tomar en cuenta su, su comentario. O sea, se lo digo porque con las compañeras que estuvimos en los módulos pasados, pues coincidimos con lo mismo, que teníamos eh, más participación y, y era como, había como más este, conversación entre todos, ¿verdad? Eh, y ahí está Gerson. <ríe> y yo quería quedarme sola con usted. Pero quería decirle eso, teacher. Y bueno. Vaya, déjeme mandarme un grupo, mándeme un grupo y, y habla usted mi libro con él. <risa> ok. Thank you. Bueno, bueno, vamos a ver. No hay problema, mi libro. No, no hay problema. A ver. Ah, es que yo creo que Gerson lo mandó conmigo, ¿verdad? Así es, Gerson. No, va a ir, bueno, pero va a ir al mismo grupo con usted. Ah, ok. Y, 
y ya, como este vocabulario, ¿verdad? Sí, ok. Pero igual que entendieron de la actividad que vamos a hacer para que me ayuden. Eh, yo me salí, Vaya. pero yo The hardware of an exam. In the escalon.
Ajá. Entonces, Melissa pregunta. Eh, Melissa va a decir, oh, I see. I see. Do you have branches? Do you have branches? Tienen. Sí. Okay. Is Is Jacqueline decir que sí? Headquarters is for in the country. Cuatro sedes. No. Headquarters is eh, sede. Sí. Ah, pues no, es, es, es la one. cabeza y los branches están abajo. Ah, de la no, eh, headquarters. Do you like in the work yes i do like it you like uh -huh. do you like in the work right. yes, usted, I usted like. me dice, yes i like yes i like no sé si le parece uh -huh. ya terminamos uh -huh. a no ser que él quiera que le demos todo no yes i like a saber por qué ha habido tanto problema con el internet, ¿verdad? Últimamente. A veces por lo mismo, porque... Por ajá, los a veces vientos. lo mismo, por los vientos. Porque fíjate que está un compañero del trabajo, un señor que trabaja con nosotros, acaba de pasar una foto, ¿verdad? De cómo está uh -huh. todo. Y, y, y de cómo ven los satélites el movimiento del huracán, ¿verdad? No, uh -huh. te lo vemos bien, chique, esto con usted. No, pues sí. Que, ajá. Ojalá que no nos que no, no cubran todos los demás Cabal. países de Centroamérica, porque Ajá. lastimosamente estamos tan desvalidos por ser un país tan eh, pequeño. pequeño y que no está preparado para eventos como estos, no como los... Desde, ¿cómo se dice? I, I have six years. Six years. I have... I six. have... Years. years in this company. Uh huh. Le pregunto y tú. And you. Sí. But. And you. And you. Y yo le voy a contestar. I have. I have one year. I have one year in my company. En Wendy, le voy a preguntar la otra pregunta que tengo aquí. Do you like to work at Fruit of the Loom? Do you like to work? Uh, the only, the only one, the only one hotel is the, in the, the guest, the guest, the only one, oh, yeah. only, only one, only. único uh -huh. hotel, uh -huh. hotel. Uh, is in la costa del sur la costa del sol sería is the costa del sol is the costa del sol no sería is in verdad is teacher vea que cuando estamos hablando de lugares is in is, is in. in costa del sol costa del sol yeah that's right is is ah, okay. okay entonces y luego vas tú. Ahí podríamos terminarlo, no es necesario. Sí, verdad. Uh -huh. Extenderlo mucho. Ajá. Okay. 
Ok, hoy lo practicamos. ¿Tú lo copiaste? Eh, sí. Ah, ok. Comienzas tú entonces. Ajá. Yo sé. La vi yo. Yo, yo. Entonces vive ah. el pasaje. Yo vivo en calle principal. Pero siempre <risa> cerrada la carmania. Ok, uh -huh. cuando la veas le decís que me escriban. Va, está bueno. Yo le digo. ¿Y por qué será que no se, no se inscribió para este curso? Fíjate que no sé, creo que en la compañía tuvo... No sé, me imagino que o ya no quiso seguir o de seguro la compañía eh, no mandó los, 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 los documentos. Los papeles, hasta ver, o... hasta ver, imagino que hay un problema de eso de haber tenido. ¿Y te acordás de Cristian Molina? Ajá. Ah, pues a él lo despidieron, por eso ya no se inscribió. Ah, ya. Así Híjole, me dijo. Lo vi un día uh, que me escribió y le digo, ¿por qué estás tan achicopalado? Me dijo, ya no voy a seguir, ¿qué te pasó? Me despidieron, me dijo. Híjole, regalo. Lo sentí así bien, bien, bien de bajón al pobre. Uh -huh. Sí. Pero vaya, bueno. Ya, re, vaya, entonces ahorita ya puesto, really milagro, I work in an NGO company. Its name is Feed the Children. We are a AID. And we feed a lot of children in... Esa, esa, esa es tu descripción de tu compañía. Okay. Me, me, yo me quedé después de We Are. We Are a AID. A y D. A y D. And we feed, feed. feed a lot of children in the communities of El Salvador. A lot, ¿cómo se escribe? A lot, Al, sí, a, lot. a lot. Ah, ok. Children. Usted, eh, ustedes se dedican a alimentar niños, así. Sí. ¿Qué es ID? Es como ayuda humanitaria. Ah, ok. Pregúntenme. <risa> ah, yeah. sí. Ah, sí. And you... Karen.
Okay, people, welcome back. Now, uh, so it almost it's almost time to finish, but uh, tomorrow you are going to present your conversation. Okay, so I hope you come early. You come on time tomorrow to present your conversation okay. in pairs. You have time to practice. Now I'm going to pass the last attendance, and um, I also well. Quiero eh, eh, animar a los que no han terminado las actividades todavía de la sección 1. Hay varios que no han terminado lo de la unidad 1, ¿verdad? Ahí tienen baja la nota. Por favor, terminenlas. Hay que ponerse el día con eso para que no se les acumulen ya con las de la unidad 2. Ok. okay. Cualquier cosa, y okay. aquí estamos, ¿no? Bueno, la última asistencia, Wendy Patricia Molina. Present teacher. Gracias, Fátima y Figenia López. Present teacher. Thank you, Ada Susana Cáceres. Present teacher. Thank you, Gerson David Menjibar. Present. Ok, Madeline Gabriela Alfaro. Present. Ok, Verónica Yesenia Enríquez. Present. Thank you, Jennifer Elizabeth Hueso. Entró Andrés Alberto Orellana. Present teacher. Ok. César Humberto López. Present. Gracias. Jacqueline Vanessa López. Present. Ok. Cindy Alexandra Ramos. Cindy. Eh, Carlos Antonio González. Marlon Ernesto Serrano. Francisca Delmira Guillén. Present. Ok. Liliana Melisa Olivares. Present. Ok. Karen Stephanie Flores. Present. Thank you. And María Milagro Rosales. Present. Thank you very much for attending tonight. So please practice your conversations. Tomorrow you are going to present them and work in the platform, please. Okay, have a good night, people. Okay, good night. See bye you bye. tomorrow. See you later. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. See you tomorrow tonight. See you tomorrow.